gods have blessed us with another awesome plugin. The Fortin Nameless X Suite is now out. And if you have not seen my video on that, go check it out right now. It's an amazing plugin. It was one of Neural DSP's very first plugins they ever made. It's one of the best ones for the jaunty jaunt and genty gents, especially for eight string sounds. And if you haven't tried it yet, you really need to. Today, I want to kind of walk through my own setup of creating a couple different presets that I would use in my uh, musical recording. So I mainly want to get two different presets made for myself today. A good rhythm, a very gentle, progressive, spanky sound with my eight string. And then I also want to get a good lead tone if I can. So there's not going to be a whole crap ton of talking in this one. It's going to be a lot of me tinkering and messing with the settings on this to dial in a good uh, preset. But hopefully this can help you in your own process to see how other people dial in a preset for themselves. Because if you're like me, yeah, presets that are already pre-built into the plugin are nice and a good jumping off point a lot of times, but I like to make my own sounds. So I'm going to stop talking and get playing and messing around and creating the first rhythm preset uh, for my 8-string guitar. Alright, so we're at default here. And it's a pretty decent sound. Uh, these pickups are pretty low output unfortunately with this guitar but it's what I have to deal with. Let the tone search begin. not too bad. I'm going to kind of mess with some of the actual amp setting. I feel like I need some more gain because my pickups are so low output. In there. But I need, yeah, to pull that bass back. A little more middle spank. It's not too bad. It's getting there, right? So we're getting in the ballpark of where I want to be. Think. I don't think I want to mess with the mics too much. A Dynamic 57 or an SM57 and a condenser usually pair pretty well together. And also it's probably good to note I'm, I'm making this preset with the intention of it mixing well in a mix so this would be different from a live uh preset which i would uh kind of eq and adapt a little bit differently but i'm trying to get something that i can just switch to and have it fit in a mix really well so there's a slightly different approach to it <laughs> And 
we're getting there. We're, we're, we're getting into that ballpark of where I want to be. Ish. Definitely want to pull out some low end here. We have the high pass, which is nice. So I'll turn the high pass filter on to about like a hundred hertz. Maybe not. That's a pretty wide band, isn't it? Maybe I don't want it on at all, but I'm definitely going to boost a little bit of 2K, maybe a little 8K to give some sparkle. Maybe a little 1K. 250, I'm going to pull down because it's like boxiness. 125 is good because it's like your low mids for like... <laughs> Palm mutes and stuff. That's starting to sound a little thin. So I'm going to go back over here and add a little more bass in. Maybe pull some of that middle out. Okay, and uh, it's good to mention we're in the high gain setting here, not the low. If we went to low, I guess it could still work. You just don't get that second gain up. Which is nice to have. Um, I don't want any post effects. Um, I do want to dial this in. And uh, as you can hear, I'm doing a lot of thumpies, eight string open. Because that's kind of the sound I'm going for, for that low end. And it, it, it matters more what it's going to sound like. Down low than it does up high. Because that's going to sound shrill as fuck. Um, playing something up high. It's going to be really thin and shrill because this is not for those higher strings, unfortunately, when it gets to extended range guitars like this. But um, I love the Zool plugin uh, pedal. It's so much better than using the gate uh, built into these for whatever reason. It's just really good. I don't know why, it just is. But I think we're in a really good ballpark of where I want to be. Now the ultimate test that I like to do is turn the doubler on just to hear how it sounds with uh, two guitars playing. And maybe it's still a little too shrill. But 
but I kind of like the honky ballpark that it's in. And again, I'm not hearing this in a mix or anything, but... I think it's a good area of where I kind of want to be. And obviously, you know, there's not a whole shit ton that I did differently from what the default is with the plugin, so that speaks volume. Because it sounds good right out, out the gate as the plugin is default. So that's kind of hard to, you know, mess with. Maybe let's fool around with some microphones after all and just see if we can get some different sounds, maybe. I'm going to try to do this with my other hand, if I can. Got a little more high end than the 50s. But I think maybe I like it. Okay, I'll take it. I like it actually. I take that back what I said earlier. And honestly, I think we're good on that. So now I'm just going to save that as a preset and call it uh, Sinister Spank. Because why not? And now we've got a preset in our own default user presets. I have an 8 honk from the old plugin, which probably sounds like garbage. Let's check it out. Or maybe not. Two different sounds. It says a little more low end to it, a little more uh, thump. And I'll go over here and turn the double around. See, I think this is more of a live performance type of tone. My old preset from the original Nameless. Right? That makes more sense because it's got the more low end, but Sinister Spank that we just made, maybe it is a little thin. Just is gonna work better in a mix, honestly. So that's kind of a good comparison there to um, what, the, what the difference is between the two styles. You got the one that fits in a mix that has a lot less low end and maybe a little more mid, which is for guitar as a mid instrument. Mid frequency, not mid as in mid quality. Guitars are top, S tier, but like, you know what I mean. That'll fit in a mix better than eight, eight honk. Even Thank you. 
they both work good, I think, as a tone. And I kind of forgot I had this preset from the original. But, again, it's performance live versus in the studio recording. So that's basically where that goes. But now I want to switch guitars because I want to make a solo preset for doing solos. And that is going to be with my uh, Sterling Music Man uh, Majesty guitar. Because that is a solo master. Because, you know, John Petrucci. That is what it is. John Petrucci. And we're going to again start from default and try to make a solo tone. All right, let's get a good solo tone. going here and first things first drive because yes and just so we can kind of mix into what I already want it to have we're going to add some delay maybe not quarter let's go like eighth dotted cold started doing this so i'm not warmed up but um ping pong yes sync maybe it, uh, we'll add a little bit of reverb too i think just because we want it to be spacey <laughs> judge okay I didn't get a chance to warm up sue me so I think there's definitely too much bass we need all the gain because solo let's turn on that output whoops oh because it's a different gain. Right. definitely want a little more mid and a lot more treble. I don't know about presence yet because I can get shrill really quick with this. But... A little too much midi? getting there it's getting there um definitely want to remove a good amount of low end anyway just to help mixing in the end I pull again, huh? I just tap it. Was I already pulled? I guess I can't really tell, but. So we're 
getting there. I'm just missing the sear, right? The sear of the sound that I'm looking for. You don't need grind on that. Sorry, you have to hear that. But you know what? Fuck it. It's what helps. All right. Eight quarter, fourth uh, quarter triplet. <laughs> Just missing that sear. It's mostly there. I, it's mostly there. I'd say it's there. I don't think there's much else I would really change. I think I mostly got it there. Let's give it a little drive. I think for now. I think we're good. 
I, I, I think that works for most cases, and I'll, you can dial it in per mix, I guess. I guess that's a good jumping off point. So we'll call this one Sinister so Solo, right? So now we've got a couple presets of our own that we can kind of mess around with. We've got a solo one, you know, using our solo guitar. And we've also got the spanky eight string sound and I guess an OG from the original Nameless plugin that I forgot that I made a preset on. And, you know, you just start there and you start branching out and making all sorts of different presets for different things. Like, I would probably come in at a certain point with my eight string just because I know I do this a little bit and come in and even though this is not the eight string anymore, right? We got the spank. I can detune it. It sounds better the closer you are to the actual tuning and not dropping solo because it does affect the tone a little bit, but that's why I use the eight string. And plus, there's a different feel to the string tension when you're playing that low, what you hear. So uh, there's a little bit of a weird mind fuck if you've never played low tune stuff like that before. The tension does make a difference, and it makes a difference in your tone. But yeah, now we've just got, you know, presets. For, for, for ourselves so hopefully this helps you along in the journey somehow of doing your own presets especially in an amazing plugin like this and you just can't go wrong with it if you haven't seen my video on this one or on the Saldano SLO100X that they released like three days after this one you can check out the videos on your screen or down in the description or in the card all over the place and um, yeah let me know if this helped you let me know anything you think I can improve on and I will see you guys in the next video.